Uh, well, I see a bunch of deployments. We got double daring's gonna stare at each other. We got a gearing versus a shima heading over to Charlie with eh, some reinforcements and stuff. But it definitely looks like Jaybird, the uh, hey 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 dude that you're talking about, is uh, steaming over toward AAA and is about to start capping that pretty dang soon. Yeah. Um, so it looks to me as though we're having a pretty standard deployment. I like I do like seeing what I'm seeing, which is both teams, CAG and YOLO, are um, sending their cruisers and battleships almost horizontally out to their positions. This, um, in case you're not familiar with sort of how competitive at this level works, the fact that these guys have basically chosen to go directly horizontal, um, it allows them to avoid taking early shots uh, at long range, as we're about to see on the real Reaper here. We'll see if any of these actually connect. Bonk, yeah, a little bit, not too much, just chip damage, but um, every once in a while you can find matches where someone just gets chunked early on by a Stalingrad or a Yamato or something with really long-range accurate fire, and suddenly you find yourself down 15, 20,000 HP for no reason, so. Yeah, um, shout out to that match we saw the other day where GGW, uh, GG well played, all right, good luck, have fun, I think it was, took a completely yeah. blind shot from all the way across the map and nailed somebody for like 12k, which was... That's right. Outrageously cool and outrageously sid and silly at the same time. Completely blind. And Shimakaze of Peta Piper here going to just barely thread the needle uh, of, of those torpedoes. Well done, Piper, uh, from Tomcat. As uh, Look at that. Tomcat and Piper not actually attempting to... Um, not actually attempting to just sit behind the rock at sea. They're actually going to open water. They're going to trade torpedoes and try to outspot each other. Um, B, being contested by both. It went to... Uh, Went to YOLO first, but now Bugfire. He is actually uh, contesting it. We have single launch torpedoes coming his way, but those will not find their mark. As A, uh, now being attempting to be contested by the Daring here. We'll see if the Daring sees these torpedoes. Good, he's got his Hydro on. Good boy. Yeah, Dark Seb is going to be able to get out while Jaybird is committing even further over to A. Does actually open uh, open up with the gun, shooting at a Stalingrad as he dives behind the island, which is going to break line of sight for him. Uh, Daring's are doing the mating dance with some butt wiggles and some torping back and forth, but uh, B is not really going to do anything. Although we do have the Stalin radar from the real Reaper potentially lighting Shadow Phoenix, but I mean, who the hell's going to shoot at him? Uh, bug fire evidently, but those shells are going to go directly into the rock as uh, Shadow Phoenix is going to seed B for the moment. Gearing is almost done taking Charlie, but Peta Piper Shimikaze is going to come in and possibly dive the island. I can't imagine he's going to run down the gearing that nobody's going to really be able to shoot at. So uh, we have a whole bunch of not much happening right now, although B does seem to have been taken. Yes, indeed. So uh, B got flipped in favor of CAG, Bugfire backing his way in his daring, trading torpedoes with Shadow Phoenix's daring. Um, I gotta say, both teams have done an excellent job of putting their ships in the right strongest places. Um, everyone taking very, very strong positions. My only, my only question is why the Ohio of DTK Gamer from YOLO is out where he is. They're very, fl like... These battleships have flanked out much further than is normal. We'll actually see if that well, we'll see if that does them well or whether that hinders them. I feel like is I'm trying to figure out where he's trying to go. I think he's attempting to get into a position to put shots in the nose of the real Reaper's Stalingrad, but we'll just have to see. Yeah, I, I definitely am seeing that too, where both of the Yamatos over in CAG are a more traditional position on the 4-line and the 8-line, giving them the ability to crossfire and do what they can do. However, YOLO's battleships, both of them are actually running out wide to the 9-10 or the 1-2 lines. Uh, theoretically, if they're trying to move this Stalin down south of the midline border, maybe to F1 or something to see if he can start forcing plays, eventually the Kleber is going to get spotted around by Fokker, and in, in fact, Jaybird is already beginning to bail. Uh, Daring's in the middle, will continue to do a tickle fight, kind of snuggle buddies, but nothing really happening there as B's going to fall the other way to YOLO. But if that Ohio is able to roll that 10 line and push out with a Moskva that's got no, not only radar, but also hydro, keeping him safe as they push, the Shimo oh. can move over and make that gearing get the heck out of Dodge. Oh, Tomcat from CAG taking a Shimikaze torpedo uh, in his gearing. Now, I bet he's kicking himself there because he actually was in reverse, saw them coming, attempted to go forward to dodge the torpedoes, but if he had continued to back up, he would have actually had the inertia to be able to... Um, uh, to be able to actually dodge that torpedo. I've, I've done that myself many times. That's a split-second decision that doesn't always work out. Uh, we'll see if Piper is able to capitalize, as he did, in fact, take C, which now goes to YOLO. Uh, and 
A, also be contested by Dark Seb King. However, Bugfire's Daring has rotated over and is now going gun to gun with another Daring here. However, he's only got his front guns on where Dark Seb King doesn't. Switching to AP, usually a good move in a Daring. We'll see who wins this. I, He needs to get his back guns on. Otherwise, he is at very serious risk of losing this. Well, so far, I wouldn't say he's won the health trade. I feel like he did start with a few more points of health than uh, Dark Seb did. But nonetheless, Bugfire holding strong with over almost 8,000 health to 6,500. And pretty soon, close enough to Hydro. Real question is if any other guns can come in. We see Jaybird looking to make the push. And now he's got the angle. Jaybird's going to open up on that daring of Dark Seb. Yep. Undoubtedly lit by the Hydro Bugfire. Even though Bugfire taken down to 1,000 damage by a Salem. <laughs> diving behind the Ox. Rock's able to do it. He has gotten wow. safe and down goes the enemy daring that's going to be a hard flip over to alpha with a stalingrad and a kremlin stuck between two destroyers and potentially a lot of torpedoes that's yep. a hell of a pinch i don't know how a's gonna go <laughs> meanwhile b and c still over in the hands of yolo with the moskva ohio trying to he-man bro force it as they're pushing down the 10 line shoving back a nevsky and the gearing after taking a torp cannot contest Yep, so uh, YOLO realizing that they've essentially lost A. They have to be very careful to not lose a Kremlin and a Stalingrad over there in the corner as, oh, I have to go watch this. It looks to me as though the clever of Jaybird, he's going to do it. He's going to YOLO a Kremlin and a Stalingrad. Let's see. He's going to get three, four, five. Oh, he's getting nearly all onto that Kremlin. However, he's going to get the second set off. Will he be able? He kills. Wow. Okay. He's trading the clever for that uh, Kremlin. That leaves the Stalingrad completely exposed over here. Wow. I, I think that's still a good trade. It's I, I don't know if a, a DD for a BB is a good trade. I'm inclined to say yes, uh, especially given the fact that CAG now has a completely commanding control over A. However, they've been pushed back distinctly from C. So both teams, again, uh, really equal footing from both teams in terms of pushing a side that they're strong on and falling away from the side that they're not. I have a feeling that CAG is going to keep their ships on the C side longer than YOLO is going to keep their ships on the uh, A side. What do you think is going to be the, uh, I don't know, what do you think is going to be the, the tipping point here? I think C is an immovable object as far as YOLO locking down that flank. The gearing had to back off, and there, there's a lot of damage over on the CAG side, so they're definitely backing up. The play to make is Shadow Phoenix over at Alpha. Now has the line on Bugfire. Guns coming out. Bugfire only with 2,800 damage. Now down to 900. Pretty soon that's going to be even lower still as he goes down underneath the waves. Gone forever. Wow. With no Clever and now no Daring, there is a single destroyer on the front, and it is not uh, on CAG's side. Uh, Shadow is already popping his smoke attempting to get out, although there's a Stalingrad that can easily radar him. Torps are going out toward the motto of Tap 2, and as much as that Kleber was able to murder that Kremlin, if he was able to deal with the Stalingrad, that or soften them up so they could make some kind of crazy push, I have to wonder if that might have been a little different and maybe kept his DD bro alive, but as it was, we're going to see some Torps into Tap 2, and I think the Daring's going to get out with his life. Uh, we'll see. There's the uh, Stalingrad over here taking shots right at that Yemi now. Uh, he put 20k into him on the first volley. The Yemi went from 90-something k. He's now down to 35. Ooh, but Daring taking a huge hit. Can die to secondaries here as they start chip-chipping away at him. Yikes, Kag uh, taking a huge advantage at A and really throwing quite a bit of it away. They need to get the Hindenburg of Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. They need to get him around the corner here to torp that Stalingrad. And they need to do it before the Yamato goes down because Tap 2 really taking a lot of damage and if they lose a uh, or if they lose their advantage at a they're basically i want to say they're basically done for uh the daring of shadow phoenix not going down yet down goes tap two cag now in a very precarious position however the ohio goes down again tit for tat from both <laughs> i said tit from both of these ships oh yamato yamato of Vosged. i don't know how to pronounce that exactly getting absolutely obliterated Good lord, from a big shot from the Ohio. Oh. And just like that, the battleships disappear. Yep. It's magic. And Ooh. that leaves a Stalin with a Stalin Hindi bird. So we've got a Stalingrad of OG Pick'em Deep. Uh, it's going to get that bow in toward the Stalingrad of Fokker, who's really soon going to find how uncomfortable it is having his ass scratched by Hindenburg. So is he going to full forward and dive to the Stalin, or is he going to reverse into the torps of a Hindenburg while Monkey Business attempts to help, but uh, sits basically impotent at too many kilometers away from a Stalingrad friend that's about to die? Uh, there yep. does look to be a YOLO push, the gearing with 84 health 
as the real Reaper and Omni are attempting to somehow breach Charlie here. Uh, I can't see good times for this Stalingrad, but I'm certainly interested in watching how it goes down. It's gonna be it's gonna be grim, man. He's gonna he's gonna get broadsided here by uh, OG PCM Deep. Here it comes, gank. Yeah, that was that was pretty brutal. I want to say that the the proper thing would have probably been to head uh, yeah, northwest to towards the north side of A Cap to avoid a full broadside from anybody and the torps of the Hindenburg. But really, a no win scenario there for him. Um, this is very interesting. I I believe that Yolo has the distinct advantage here as it is now. Uh, it's still four to five. However, Tomcat's gearing 84 HP. No way of getting it back. He is literally one sneeze away from uh, he's one sneeze away from the deep. Um, the map control firmly in Yolo's favor, and Yolo, in fact, sitting with a three almost 300 point lead. So at this point, it is Yolo's game to throw away. We'll see if the Nevsky of Omni, uh, Omni, excuse me, not Omni, uh, if he can actually get this flanking maneuver that he's looking to make off on just adapts Moskva, that could change things pretty significantly. However, Piper sitting on nearly full HP as well as uh, Purple Aki's Moskva, there's just so much HP left on the board for uh, YOLO that CAG just can't contest. Yeah, this is definitely YOLO's game to lose. That being said, Hindenburg and Stalingrad rolling together are not a joke. If the Hindi, with 15,000 health and probably a heal coming up fairly soon, is able to somehow bow into the Salem and run him down, that could be some point trades, and then they're pushing Bravo, then they're pushing a broadside Moskva, that's more points. This could absolutely domino out of control, but there's only a minute and 20 seconds for it to do so. Right now we see just a dap in the Moskva for YOLO, who has moved forward to dodge the Torps, and incidentally, blocked himself from any Torps from the Kag's Omni in the Nevsky, who is circling around to try to do something but with a minute to go, mm, I just don't think this one's going to happen. This is looking pretty tough, but we do have the gearing of Tomcat going to step on Bravo and dra drag this one out to two minutes left unless there's a ship kill. Yep, and uh, so Ami missing with that first rack of torpedoes, possibly a little premature as now he only has one rack remaining on the opposite side. We'll see. We'll see just how well Nevsky's guns work against a Moskva at close range. Uh, pretty significant damage there, but he's also so exposed now to the rear gun of Just Adapt. We're gonna have to see. I, I'm, I'm confused by... There we go. He's finally making that turn, but no, he's way too exposed with that broadside to Just Adapt having the, uh, well, having those Russian AP angles, and second game goes to YOLO, which that's gonna be it. Winner of this series, YOLO with a W as they progress, and CAG goes to face, I'm not sure... Uh, CAG faces somebody else for the runner-up, so they're still not out of it. They just have to win another match in order to get back in. So, uh, congratulations to both of them. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna yeah, take a look at tournament. I do have to point out that, um, of the two, there were one of which was a YOLO clan, the other one was a CAG, CAG clan, and yet we did actually see a YOLO Kleber that decided to, uh, rip into... Well, I don't know, the other YOLO's on the opposite side of the field. I don't know if the kill on the Kremlin is what really opened up that entire flank. Um, though the trades with the Darings were certainly kind of interesting. Daring rotates from mid, kills enemy Daring. Other Daring rotates from mid, kills enemy Daring. Uh, then a whole bunch of back and forth weird swinging at Alpha. There were times where it's like, oh, okay, this team's got it. No, oh, okay, maybe this team's got it. No, oh. it was a whole bunch of back and forth until it really decided to solidify out. Um, I do have to say that probably one of the most influential things that happened over at Charlie was that torpedo, that one Shimikaze torp that nailed a gearing. Thankfully, on the gearing's rear, because if it was a midships, that would be one dead, uh, one dead destroyer. Um, but able to limp away with eventually what 89 health, I think it was. Uh, yep. That lost them C, and then A was a weird cluster, and there was just no coming back from it. But it was an interesting game, if nothing else. Certainly. So um, if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and give a little update on who's progressed to the second part of the first group stage. Um, so from Group A, the second round of uh, games is going to be GLHF, Good Luck, Have Fun, which is a secondary clan of GGWP or a secondary team, is going to be facing 5D, Duck, Dip, Dive, Dodge, and... Damn it. Uh, and then Group B... It's going to be Star versus uh, Dash RNG Dash. Should be a very interesting game to see there. Um, group C is going to be Ayame versus RBMK. 
as look like RBMK progressed after uh, GF Gascones best best something. Um, looks like they forfeited, and RBMK was automatically push, uh, pushed forward as Ayami succeeded over Sur. Group D is going to be RNG versus NFJF. That's what will be. Um, we will be casting RNG versus NFJF here when we come back. Uh, group E has not finished yet, uh, as P2 and QCN2 have traded games so far and are in a third. The winner of those two will be facing Start. Group F is going to be Dale versus XPN. Uh, group G will be KSF, Kill Steel Failure. Kill Steel Failed versus Tab, the Angry Bears. Uh, looks like Group H has not finished yet. That's odd. It says they only have both teams have only. There we go. Nope. Uh, all right. So Group I is going to be QQ7 versus Apes with a Z. Group J will be TNG versus YOLO with a W. And uh, Group K and L have not finished yet. So we'll have to see what happens there. Now, for the next match that we're going to be casting, I think the regular time that it's starting is in 18 minutes from now at 4.30. Is that correct? Okay. Well, 1.30 your time, I think. Okay. Um, well, in that case, I'm going to go ahead and start looking for that. I'd like to do a giveaway um, in chat, so um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Do me a favor. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on that for when the next game starts up. Uh, if you see it, do me a favor and ping me. <laughs> okay, will do. Well, I'm going to pop Thanks, it in to be right back, and uh, we'll see everybody on the next one. Okay. <laughs> 